How about that $25 million plus day one for Captain America? So uh, on behalf of all of us at Hasbro and our good friends at Marvel, we are very excited to be here today. Uh, what we're going to do is just do a quick introduction of the team and then jump in with the stuff we know you want to hear. So um, I'll start. My name is Billy Lagore and uh, Team Marvel Marketing. I'm uh, Michael Polano, Marvel Marketing, Marvel Universe and Avengers. I'm uh, David Bonner, uh, Senior Designer, Marvel Universe. My name is Dwight Stahl. I'm a senior design manager on uh, Legends. Yeah! I'm Vicki Stratford. I'm the design director for Marvel. Hi, I'm David Kunitz. I'm vice president of design for all the boys' toys. By welcome here, we'll take you through the presentation. We'll get right here, we'll start it up. You can get all your exclusives at our booth, 3329. Hopefully you've already been there. I think a lot of you already have. So thank you very much. A lot of familiar faces. <laughs> uh, and uh, as you know, uh, our exclusive 2011 is uh, the 16-inch uh, uh, electronic Sentinel. Um, I guess some of you guys picked it up already. Yeah. Anybody? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, this is our 2011 exclusive for Spider-Man. As you know, we have big news coming in Spider-Man. This is just our guy with the removable, um, removable mask, and this is our Mighty Mug. So we're continuing with Mighty Mugs. We love them, and you're going to be seeing more of them here and there. But I can't say anything more than that. Awesome one for 2011, though. Uh, Relaunch figure number one, uh, Thor uh, in his uh, lightning powered up uh, deco scheme for the relaunch of Marvel Legends, uh, coming and equipped in his millionaire package, so go beat on your friends with it. <laughs> so as I said, Mighty Mugs, who out there is collecting Mighty Mugs, let's see some hands. Alright, alright, so we love mugs and we have <laughs> brought out our mini mugs as well. So you can see here, fantastic grouping with Giant Man sticking his head out through the top of the package. So, fun, cool, exclusive combines. Uh, check it out in the booth if you haven't already. Alright, and if you've been by, uh, by our booth there, you've seen all the card giveaways that we have. The Avengers line preview of the 3 and 3 quarter Avengers movie figures uh, for 2012. So keep your eye out for those. And the same with Spidey. You see Spidey here, super, uh, super articulated, three and three quarter Spider-Man uh, figure. You got the card here, so posed out in a great pose. All right, some movie line reveals for you guys. Um, yeah, uh, I know you guys have all been down to the booth. Uh, what you're seeing here is a, uh, a peek into the world of the Avengers. Uh, Marvel has allowed us to share with you uh, our first three movie accurate action figures uh, based on the new costumes from the upcoming film. You have Iron Man in his Mark VII armor. You have Chris Evans as Captain America in his new look. And Chris Hemsworth in, in one of his new uh, looks for the Mighty Thor. shows the new, um, has anybody seen all the new Spider-Man stuff online? There's a fantastic new costume. We're super excited to be working with uh, Sony and Marvel on this. And this is the new, a uh, super articulated figure in the new movie costume. So check him out. We're previewing him in the booth. So uh, Marvel Universe, we're going to kick this off with Marvel Universe. Um, first, I'd like to say thank you to all you guys for supporting Marvel Universe. Um, we had a strong year. 
Um, you guys really supported us with the uh, the single card, the two packs, the gigantic battles, and of course the Mass Works Sentinel. So, on behalf of us, we'd like to thank you guys for supporting us. Uh, so, um, we're jumping into it. Um, one of the first characters we're going to have is Ultimate Spider-Man. Um, as you know, Spider-Man is going to have a big year in 2012. So, um, we're going to do what we can in Marvel Universe to try to tie into that and we're going to do some special things with Spider-Man coming up. So in wave one, we have uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, um, the Hulk, the Incredible Hulk, that's a new uh, body, um, Ultimate Beast, well I'm sorry, Astonishing Beast, um, with toe articulation, I'm surprised nobody picked up on that yet, yes, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, Beta Ray Bill, <laughs> a lot of you guys have been asking for for Beta Ray Bill, so uh, here he is, that handsome devil. And of course, uh, Craven, this is the, the Grim Hunt version. Um, it looks really cool. So wave two, uh, here we go. So a lot of you guys have been asking for Scarlet Witch, so she's here. Um, so we have Scarlet Witch, um, a new Punisher on our new body. Um, this is the Future Foundation Spider-Man. So what we're going to do with Spider-Man, we're going to do something a little different. Um, we're going to do uh, a few versions of Spider-Man uh, in the same card, so you got to keep your eyes out for them. So you'll have this version of Spider-Man, you'll have another version of Spider-Man that is kind of cool. But one of the coolest ones you'll be able to finally get is Paper Baghead Spider-Man. <laughs> and, and as you know, I've been championing this for a long time, so... I tried to stop him. We all tried to stop him. I cannot be stopped. <laughs> so, we're gonna, it's just, this will be really cool for Spider-Man. And again, this is the tie into to the movie and, and the anniversary of Spider-Man, so we're going to do some special things with him. And She-Hulk finally um, has her, her figure, and uh, she looks good. If you're into green women, you should, and this we is, know most of you are. <laughs> this is for you. And uh, uh, Kang will make his first appearance into the Marvel Universe. Um, so we have a few more uh, sneak peeks here. Um, we have Angel coming up. A lot of you guys have been requesting Angel. Um, you know, the X-Men had a very good year this year as well, so we're going to continue to, to uh, showcase more mutants. Nighthawk makes his first appearance. Uh, so you guys who are collecting your defenders, you're starting to build up your team. Nova. A lot of you guys have been asking for, for more cosmic guys. So uh, this is the, the uh, modern look for Nova. And Hercules. So. Uh, this version is, is um, you know, the, the late, the late 80s uh, version when he's probably Avengers and uh, this, is, this is my favorite uh, incarnation of, of Hercules, he's cool. And Puck. That's right. So this, so flesh out the outflight a little bit. Uh, I, know, I know there's some uh, Canadians in the house anywhere. There you go. <laughs> So uh, you got Puck, and you will be able to pose him in his handstand as well. There's no strings or anything like that. So, and this is a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky peek. So a lot of you guys have been asking about a, uh, a female that's never been done before. So Jubilee will make her first ever appearance. Pretty cool. And uh, apparently you guys are fans of creatures in purple pants. So you have uh, Fing Fing Foom wearing his, uh, you know, his shorts because he needs to wear his shorts. Why are you looking at me? We insist. Because. Why are you looking at me? What did I do to you? Nothing. <laughs> but here's Foom. Uh, we're going to do the, the uh, an orange version of him. And uh, he's wearing his shorts and he's... He's gonna have uh, electronics and lights and sounds and everything, so it's gonna be pretty cool. So that's our new Masterworks figure that's gonna be coming down the pipe. That's all good and everything, uh, Bob. <laughs> but I think 
think they've been waiting quite a long time for uh, a few new pictures of uh, something. Uh, uh, go big or go home. So you go home now and uh, let us talk about some big toys. Okay. Uh, isn't that crazy? Yeah, we, we're going home with the money, though. <laughs> All right, some things we wanted to tell you guys about. So I'm doing something different now. Um, this is a peek at the new packaging. This is the back of the packaging. Uh, we had a lot of discussions about what inspired us uh, as children reading comic books, and we're like, these splash panels were so beautiful and so uh, just amazingly impactful. So our uh, fantastic packaging department went out and hired ourselves one Ed McGinnis to design the card art for Wave 1 and Wave 2. So these are uh, some pictures of the figures of Wave 1 as well as card art. Uh, Steven Rogers, uh, as you can see here, will also have a variant of his photon shield. Hope Summers, uh, modern character. Uh, you, guys are, uh, you guys are a tough uh, cookie to crack. Uh, and I know I didn't say that right, but I'm not worried about that right now. <laughs> it's been a long week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go hope. <laughs> uh, extremist Iron Man. Uh, he will also uh, come with a stealth variant. You guys saw the traditional uh, red and uh, gold in the booth. Claw. What madness drove this man to turn his body into living sound? <laughs> It sounds cooler as my voice goes worse and worse. Constrictor. Shield agent gone wrong. Speaking of choking. Speak, speaking of gone wrong. <laughs> Danny Ketch, Ghost Rider. Uh, Dan, uh, this figure will also uh, be coming out uh, around time to celebrate the upcoming uh, Ghost Rider film. And uh, he will have two variants as well. Uh, the blue that you see here, as well as a uh, yellow and orange, more uh, classic, traditional Ghost Rider flame. The Mighty Thor. Obviously, this is the same sculpt that you guys can get downstairs now for our Comic-Con exclusive. Um, the difference will be this will be uh, a traditional deco pattern that matches how he's seen uh, most often in, in the books. There he is. And of course, Build a Figure is back. So, every mainline wave coming out this year will consist of approximately six to seven action figures, and uh, they will contain the Build a Figure components. One thing we're doing differently this year that we haven't done before is we're trying to sort some of these characters in on a greatest hits basis. We know a lot of you guys like the big main players, the Hulks, the Caps, the Iron Mans, but there's another whole section of you that says, I have my, I have those figures. I don't, I don't need another one. So what we're doing is on uh, each wave, we're trying to take one of those major players and remove the Build-A-Figure component from him. If you want him, we hope you do, you can buy him. If you uh, need an extra couple bucks in your pocket that week, you can skip that one by the rest of the wave and you'll still be able to collect your uh, complete Build-A-Figure. So it's a little bit of kind of a greatest hits philosophy. You guys like to see a little bit about Wave 2?